All right, well, I'm back in Blue Marsh. Not too far from home, but uh, I'm not feeling so great today. I kind of have kind of a cold, feeling kind of crappy, but I, uh, I doped up on some cold medicine and uh, I thought I'd you know, come out here in the woods and be slightly miserable and just sit at home and be miserable. <laughs> Sounds like a plan to me. Actually, I don't feel too bad right now. I guess that, that cold medicine is kind of kicking in. Um, but Blue, Blue Marsh is in Brooks County, Pennsylvania. It's a pretty large area and I'm in an area, uh, I think last time I was here, I think we went up, all the way up in there was that old, I found an old lime kiln up in that area when I was looking for a cave last, I think it was last winter sometime I was out here, so. But I'm gonna do kind of a loop hike today. It's always, a, lots, always lots of wildlife out here. And we're gonna see some cool stuff. We're gonna, gonna get to one area called Dry Roads Farm. It's an area where they preserved, because we built this lake it was the Army Corps engineers built this lake. Of course, they did that whole eminent domain thing, and a lot of places got torn down. But they did preserve some of the buildings, and they moved them to this place. And we'll we'll get to see some of those. Those are pretty cool, old old houses and barns and stuff. I'm pretty sure I don't think I made a video of those before. I was there before, but I don't think I was making videos at that time. But we'll go there, so that'll be worth seeing, and just whatever else we happen to see along the way. So I'll quit yapping and uh, let's get to hiking. Oh yeah, I should mention too, this is the Justa, Justa Road parking area. It's spelled J-U-S-T-A, Justa. It's Justa Road. It is Justa Road. But this is the parking area I'm at. Because all kinds of uh, parking areas around the lake. turtles out in this little pond out here. Let's see if we can zoom in on them. Yeah, there they are. All sitting in a row. Just enjoying the day. They're painted turtles. Eastern painted turtles. They see me too. They're wondering what I'm going to do. We'll let them go though. Some big puffball mushrooms. These might be the, the giant puffball mushrooms. I'm tempted to take that home. Never, these are edible, the giant puffballs. I remember if you cut them in slices and slices and dip them in pancake batter, they're supposed to be good. Oh, and, and fry them too. We'll see. You gotta think about it. And I'm just gonna leave it there for now. I got a quiet ways to go on this hike. I don't need to carry a huge mushroom around my backpack with me the whole way there, the whole way around. I'll just leave it there. It's mid-September and already you have leaves falling down. Down here's got hickory nuts falling already, acorns and whatnot. I think autumn just one of my favorite times of the year, probably spring and fall. There's a walnut. All the nuts are falling. Anybody know what these yellow flowers are? Whoops. This is jewelweed. This is yellow jewelweed. Lots of times jewelweed is like an orange, orangish color and spotted. Or is this, or, yeah, this is often called pale jewelweed too, or yellow jewelweed. This is stuff that's good for if you get poison ivy, you're supposed to rub rub this stuff on your poison ivy rash. It's supposed to help get rid of it. Maybe we'll see some of the orange orange kind later on so you can see to compare the two. The yellow kind is more rare. This is the largest bunch of it I've ever seen for the yellow variety. All right, let's keep walking. Yeah, I'm still at this yellow jewelweed, but I found, found a little friend in there, moving along. Soon be time for him to make a cocoon. Yeah, on this milkweed plant, you can see someone's been eating, so if you turn the leaf over, 
where we find, hello, there he is. Is that a milkweed tussock moth, I think? Or caterpillar. Got an abundance of acorns this year too. Tons of them on the ground here. Ah, see in here, that bee is enjoying some stuff. But these, these are the orange jewelweed. See, I showed you the yellow ones earlier. These are the orange ones. Sometimes it's called orange spotted jewelweed. Cool. You like them? Well, here's a view out across the lake, or a section of the lake. A couple of people out there fishing on the bank out there. Pretty nice day out here. All right, well, there is a black crowned night heron on the opposite shore. I'm gonna try and zoom in, see if we can check it out. All right, well I can't find the, that night heron anymore. I think it flew off. It was right here on the shore, but I scared it and it flew the other side, but I don't know where it is now. Oh well. All right, let's keep going. Uh, here's another view of the lake. You can kind of see, start to see a change in the color over there. Some yellow is showing up in the trees. Another sign that autumn is soon here, or is here. These are belong to a spice bush. These are spice bush berries. You can, you can make a. The berries are. I don't know if they'd be considered edible or not. They're not poisonous. But the seeds can be ground up into like a spice. And even the leaves from this bush can be turned into like a, you can make a tea out of them, a spiced tea. So I'm gonna try this berry. And there's a little seed in there. You can see that, it's kind of slimy. Yeah, they are spicy, but not in a hot spicy sense, but in like a, like a nutmeg, well, not, not, yeah, not a hot spice, but a different, like pumpkin spice almost. It's kind of bitter too. I didn't actually eat the berry. They're not poisonous, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I would want to eat them all the time. You leave a bitter taste in your mouth, but interesting. One nice thing about this trail around Blue Marsh is that you can see it changes in terrain and scenery quite a bit. Goes from walking in the woods, going out and then out into these meadows and whatnot. And check out this thing laying on the trail. Anybody know what this is? It's not a nut or any kind of a fruit. It's actually a gall, a G-A-L-L. -L. There's an insect that uh, makes its home in there. It's just a swelled part of the oak tree on the stem usually or a leaf. And inside of here would be some kind of a little larva. Because then these eventually fall to the ground. So it's a parasitic insect that lives in the oak tree cause that swelling and then it falls to the ground. Well, this right here looks like a good place to sit and eat a late lunch, I think. That's what we shall do. 
And for lunch, we got a peanut butter and honey sandwich on marbled rye bread. And that is dark chocolate peanut butter, too. It's good stuff. All right, well, I just finished lunch. Um, I've come about four miles already on this trail. And by looking at the map, it looks like there's another two miles to go. So I'm not too far from that old, uh, I think that old historic farm, Dry Roads Farm, where those old buildings are. Um, yeah, I've been accused on some of my comments before, like, you know, how someone said they don't think I do enough research because I always take the long way or something. It's like, well, but I do that on purpose. If you watch my videos, you know, I, I like to, like, you could drive, you could drive to that place where we're going, but, you know, I, I enjoy walking. I enjoy being out here in the woods hiking, so I, I deliberately go the long way. That's just what I enjoy doing. So it's not because I don't know where something is or I'm not doing the research. Anyway, I just enjoy being out here. So we'll be there shortly. Um, yeah, shortly, <laughs> hopefully. All right, time to head on out again. And the trail takes us back down to the water again. Oh, there's a heron flying off. Cool. A couple of people out there fishing. Yeah, there comes someone. A butterfly enjoying some horse poo. He looks pretty beat up. Yeah, they they like the poo sometimes. They suck the moisture out of it. Cause that sounds pretty gross, but to, to each their own, huh? Well, there's some more butterflies. That looks like bird poo though. Some smaller ones there too. All right, well out across these fields is where the old historic farm is, so I'm not too far away. I just have to go down this trail a little bit more. I think I'll have to go off trail too. Unless they made a trail since the last time I was here. But I don't think there was a trail <coughs> going to there from this main trail. I, I think it's been a little longer than two miles. <laughs> I think it's more like three miles since I haven't been filming much. Just because I don't want to make this video too long. But I don't want to film the farm area too. But we should soon be there. Well, uh, went off trail, hoping I was in the right area. It's all these beehives. And up here are some buildings, so I'm in the right area. Yeah, down there is the one old building. Let's walk down there and check it out. Biker food preparation house. Definitely a cool little old building. That's pretty neat. Yeah, it's got stones in the mortar too. So we can go. Oh, cool! You can look inside. Oh, it's like a little spring. Spring, hey. How are you? All right, so this is the inside. Huh? Well, let's see. If we got a little 
attic space. I used to have one of these in my old, in my old house. And there's two baby raccoons in here that are dead. You know, that's really <laughs> awful. This spring, there's a baby raccoon around the spring house. Yeah. And I took it to a wildlife place. I guess this is where the other ones were. That's awful. But can you imagine a family living in here in the early days before they constructed anything else? This was the food preparation house, but people did live in here with their family before they were able to construct. If I was by myself, I wouldn't mind so much. And that's where the stove, the pipe used to go through the ceiling. And what's unique, I was told, about this structure is uh, this floor up here. Usually they don't have the little A-frame at the top. Yes, I... Uh... Yeah, I got interrupted there. I was just talking to the guy who lives here. Well, they rent this place. Well, the, the house up there. It's kind of interesting because his family, his family used to own this land, but then when the uh, Army Corps of Engineers, you know, kicked the people out that were living around this area to build the dam, you know, his family had to move out. But now, now he rents this place. That's kind of so. It's kind of bittersweet. You know, they got kicked off the land, but. He got to move back in in a way. Yeah, and his dad helped reconstruct this building for his grandfather. That's kind of neat. Yeah, this was built in 1776, he said. And of course, they had worked on reconstructing it a little bit more. Those windows probably aren't original, and the mortar is not either. Neither is the roof, but they rebuilt all that, you know, according to the way it would have looked back then. So that's kind of neat. We're going to go check up the, the smokehouse up here, too, yet. Yes, this is supposed to be a smokehouse. I don't know if we can open it up or not. Here we go. Oh, cool. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, you can see it's all, the ceiling's all charred. That's where they would hang you know, the meat from when they smoked and whatnot. Cool. Oh, yeah, the other guy, the other thing that guy mentioned was that this was the house that they, when the settlers first came here, that's what they lived in before they built the bigger house. That's interesting. Well, I'm gonna make my way to just a few other, some other historic buildings here. If you want to stick with me as I get to these two, they're pretty cool. I don't think anyone lives in those either. So here it is. Check it out, man. Old building. The Hottenstein house. Looks like there's a little smokehouse up here. And this is this is moved here, I think. I think that's the way it went. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go have a seat on the porch for a little bit. Have some water. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a porch swing over here. I'll sit in the rocking chair, maybe, actually. Yeah. Man, I could just stay here. I don't really feel like going home at this point. I think I'm just going to stay here. I think I'll move in. I wonder how long it would take him to figure out someone was living here. Probably not too long. Oh, yeah. This is nice. Yeah, kind of wish I did live here. Hmm. Well, the front door is locked, but it looks like you can. You can see inside. I have it set up. Oh, look at that. It looks pretty neat in there. Cool. How about over here? Oh yeah, they have it. Oh, they have it neat looking in there. Oh yeah, cool. I think we got like a butterfly guard out there out here. The pretty monarch. That's neat. I think there's another one over here. A 
here's the smokehouse. Let's see if we can if we can get in here. Oh yeah. yeah that's pretty cool. Well, there's a cool view of the house. That just looks, that looks, that's a beautiful place. Spend the rest of my life there, man. Wow. And there's the spring house. I don't think we'll be able to, that looks locked too. I don't know, maybe, maybe we can get in down here. Let's see here. Hold on a second. Yeah, it does open. We can come inside. Oh. Yeah, this is all reconstructed. Got like a cement floor in here. I guess the spring would be in the back, back here. Oh, there's some water in there. Yeah, there's just the view from the back side of that old house. Beautiful place. I know I keep saying that, but it is. Yeah, back down there's another old home. I think this is what they call the old dry roads farm. Just saw a sign down there. I think someone rents this place too. You can see satellite dishes on it and stuff. All right, well, I'm making my way back to the truck, so this will be the end of the video. This might end, might have ended up ended up being a longer video, but it's kind of fun. We went from a, a nature hike to a history hike. That's kind of fun. I, both nature and history are my passion, so I enjoy both. Like I said, you could drive right up to those old buildings practically that I was at. You don't have to, you know, walk, you know, like six miles like I did. But like I said, I did. I enjoyed doing a nature hike and a historical hike, so cool place. And uh, thanks for coming along and uh, I'll see you some other time, somewhere else.